and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick, and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use exam mode on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do that, we'll use the Shift key that looks like this, located here, the AC or on off key that looks like this, located here, the COS key that looks like this, located here, the 7 key that looks like this, located here, the plus key that looks like this, located here, the division key that looks like this, located here, the alpha key that looks like this, located here, the negative key that looks like this, located down here, and the function or F1 through F6 keys that look like this, located across the top here. If you're using this calculator, your teacher may ask you to put it in exam mode when you're getting ready to take a test. To see the different types of exam mode on this calculator, we need to go to Menu, and then scroll down and over to Link. Highlight it, and then hit the EXE key. That'll bring us to this screen here, and then we want Exam Mode option, so we hit F3. That brings us to the Exam Mode menu here. This calculator has two different types of exam mode. We can see them by hitting F3 to go to the application help screen. So we hit F3. That brings us here to the examination modes. And the first one we see is examination mode IB or International Baccalaureate. If we scroll down, we see the different restrictions that this examination mode has. So we see for IB, it restricts the EACT, Econ 3, the memory, the program, Python, and add in apps when using this calculator in exam mode. It also restricts the functions, vector calculations, and math output. If we continue to scroll down, we see the other exam mode, Texas mode. And we scroll down to see the restricted applications for this. And we see it's the same as before. It's EACT, Econ 3, Memory, Program, Python, and Add-in Apps as well as the restricted functions, vector calculations, and this is the different one, the inequality graph. Your teacher will tell you which examination mode to use if they require you to use it. We can go back from the screen by hitting the exit key, back to the examination mode menu. Now we can take a look at how to turn on the examination modes. But before we do that, I just want to point out that once we turn it on, our calculator is locked into exam mode for 12 hours. So make sure you're ready to use it before you follow these steps and actually turn it on. So remember, locked in for 12 hours. If we want to see how to turn it on, we can go to the F2 or Enter Help, where it reminds us there are two examination modes. And to enter examination mode for IB, we do the following. First, step one, press Shift AC off to turn off our calculator. Then press and hold COS, 7, and AC. There we go. At the same time, and then we'll see a menu where we can confirm, yes, we do want to turn on examination mode. To enter Texas mode, again, we start by turning off our calculator with the shift AC off. But then this time we press and hold the divide 
plus and AC key. Then again, we'll get some menus that pop up asking us to confirm we want to turn on examination mode. If we confirm through that, we'll be in the mode and we'll be locked in for 12 hours. All right, let's go back again to our examination mode menu. And now we can go to F4, exit help. This just tells us how to turn off exam mode. There are some ways to do it, like first using a three pin cable to connect the calculator that is in exam mode to another calculator that is not in exam mode, and then go through a series of steps. The second option is to connect your calculator via USB cable to a PC. And again, go through a series of steps here. But these are all fairly extensive and you won't be able to do these in class if you're trying to do an exam. And our final option for getting out of exam mode is to just let the 12 hours expire. If, when your calculator is in exam mode, you press the reset button or try taking out the batteries and putting them back in, all that'll do is reset the exam mode countdown. So you'll still be in exam mode and you'll have to wait another 12 hours. All right, let's try an example. Let's put our calculator into IB or International Baccalaureate exam mode. First, we have to turn it off. So we go Shift. AC, our calculator turns off, and then we press and hold the seven COS and AC keys. That makes this screen appear where it asks us enter exam mode for IB. If we want to confirm, we hit F1. If we've made a mistake and want to back out, we can get back with F6. We want to go into it, so let's hit F1. Then it reminds us the steps we can use to get out of exam mode. Remember that's the USB cable or the three pin cable, or just waiting the 12 hours. And asks us again, if we want to continue or if we want to stop. If we want to go back again, we hit F6. But if we want to continue, we hit F2. There it goes. It tells us we're entering exam mode and we can press exit. and our calculator restarts in exam mode. When we're in exam mode, we'll see a flashing letter in the top right-hand corner of the screen there. And R means we're in IB exam mode. And if we were in Texas mode, that would be a T there. Since we're in exam mode, a number of our apps on our calculator have been disabled, as we saw earlier. So if we try to go into, say, our memory, and we get this screen here telling us we're in examination mode and we can't use it. So we can go back with the exit key. If we want to see how much time is left on the 12 hour countdown to get out of exam mode, we can do that by pressing the alpha key and then the negative key. That brings up this screen here. Oh, it flashes away. We can do it again, alpha negative. And we see we're just about three minutes in there. So we have a long time to wait. And a reminder, if we tried to do something like reset our calculator by pressing the reset key, our timer will actually just be reset and we'll still be in exam mode. Welcome to the future. It's now been 12 hours since we put our calculator into exam mode, and let's see what happens. So if we go and turn it on, we get this message here, exit examination mode, restart and restore memories, press exit. So we just go ahead and press exit, 
our calculator restarts itself. And we see there's no longer that letter in the top right hand corner of the screen. So that means we're out of exam mode. And we can confirm that if we scroll back down and say go to our memory app, we can actually use it now. It's no longer locked out because of exam mode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.